Hi, I'm Oliver, age 24, and yesterday I woke up to a text, and I thought, wow, I've got a friend. But no, it was just my mobile phone provider, O2, and they were spamming me, as usual, with adverts for gambling. And just in case they weren't aware, I tweeted at them to let them know that it was actually annoying. They told me that it was possible to stop it from happening, and I told them that I'd actually already tried that, and my phone said that it might charge me, which ironically also felt like a gamble. Ha! <laughs> ah. Anyway, long story short, I was a little bit suspicious about how fast they'd replied to my message, and I asked if they were already on my page admiring my artwork. And basically, they said that there had been, and they loved the Shrek drawing. So I told them it took three weeks to draw, and maybe I could trade a drawing for a phone. Hashtag draw for phone, hashtag World War Phone. And that is how it began. So essentially, O2 then said that they had a Nokia 3310 that they would trade for a drawing. So that was that, a legally binding verbal contract. Obviously, since this was now a World War phone, I had to invite some other phone companies into the mix. So I tagged a bunch of them in a tweet. And then suddenly, disaster struck. O2 said that they thought their cat had eaten the phone, but they still wanted a drawing. How rude is that? And so I tweeted about the feels when O2 offer you a Nokia 3310 for a drawing and then say their cat ate it. It got 31 retweets, which is pretty much a million people. And then I had an idea. What if instead of draw for phone, I did draw for cat? Which is pretty convenient because my flatmate loves cats too. Hashtag World War Cat. And so I drew a picture of the cat that O2 had fed my Nokia 3310 to. And let me tell you, it was beautiful, as you can see for yourselves. I actually went even further and drew another picture of the cat flying through space, vomiting out all of the Nokia 3310s that O2 had forced him to eat. I also asked people to retweet to show their support for not feeding phones to cats, as I'm a strong believer that this is wrong and companies shouldn't be able to get away with it. I even tagged Peter and RSPCA, but surprisingly, neither of them wanted to get involved. I thought they cared about animals, but apparently not. Anyway, back to the story, O2's stock probably plummeted by £10 million, because then they claimed that the cat didn't eat the phone, he probably just buried it. Typical O2. Here's a picture I drew of them asking the cat for the phone back. And the cat, who is pretty mad with them for being blamed for everything, is saying no. O2 were finished with this conversation, which was good timing because Tesco Mobile had just got in touch. They said, man only trades Pokemon cards, feeling it? Which apparently is street talk, and they were actually offering to trade me a phone for a Pokemon card, which actually sounds like a pretty good deal. Fantastic. And so I drew them a professional drawing of a special one-of-a-kind Tesco Mobile Pokemon card and asked where my phone was. A lot of time passed and then suddenly they said, we can now see why O2 have gone quiet. Dot, dot, dot. I was pretty depressed. Both Tesco Mobile and O2 had promised me phones for my drawings. But then, after I'd drawn the pictures for them, they turned around and stabbed me in the face, which is obviously not a good quality in a phone company. I thought that this was the end. World War Phone was a disaster. Everybody had lost. But then, suddenly, like a dark night in Batman Land, Gif Gaff, sprung out of nowhere and they said that they'd have a look down the back of their sofa to see if they could find a phone to trade for a drawing. 
awesome. And they did. They found a Sony Xperia Z1, which after googling, appears to be a pretty nice phone. Sweet deal. I said that I could offer them one drawing for the phone, and they asked how many dimensions the drawing would come in, as they understood that I was pretty skilled at dimensions. I explained that I could offer a solid 4D piece for the Z1, but I'd need a Z2 to go up to 5D. Anyway, we discussed the finer points of the detail for a little while, until they asked if my mum had ever taught me to be patient. Wow, I was offended, and said that my mum had taught me lots of things. They didn't believe me, but I said I would prove it by drawing it. Obviously for the phone. A deal had been made. The day had been saved. And here is the picture that I sent them. It's my mum teaching me how to turn the music down. Hopefully my mum is not watching this. And mum, if you are watching this, you don't sound anything like that. I'm sorry. Anyway, Gifgaf was super impressed and virtually shook my hand while passing me the phone. And with that, World War Phone was a success. Gifgaf stood victorious. O2 and Tesco Mobile were defeated. And everybody else didn't reply. Never forgive, never forget. World War Phone. Oh, and lastly, O2 actually sent a tweet this morning to me, which said, What's happened, Oliver? Is there something we can help you with? We'll happily answer any questions, dot dot dot. Yes, yes of course you will, O2, but if you promise me a phone, you won't give it to me. You'll feed it to a cat. Thanks for watching, and thanks Gifgaf for the new phone. Fantastic. Oh yeah, and follow me on Twitter if you want to find out about this sort of thing as it happens. Fantastic.